everyone, uh, it's Mitch, and um, uh, I'm making this video because uh, uh, my my Amazon seller account um, was recently approved by Amazon, and so uh, my uh, my business, uh, Mitch's Colorful Shop, um, is now uh, approved by Amazon, um, and so I can now um, be selling products. Um, online to customers around the world and uh, one of the issues I faced was that the specific products that I list for sale are copyrighted materials and so based on Amazon's policy um, copyrighted products such as the one that I have listed on the site identified by specific ASIN codes which identifies the specific products um, those are products that um, cannot be shipped, or can, that I cannot sell as the owner of those products. I cannot sell those through the Amazon um, website unless they become FBA, or, or uh, wait, F, yeah, FBA eligible. And so what that means is that those products will be fulfilled by Amazon. And so what that means is that I will be shipping those products uh, to an Amazon warehouse. Uh, they, that warehouse will be in Real is in Rialto, California, and um, I'm going to surrender those products to Amazon. They will take control of those products before they get listed on their website. I trust that it'll be fine, um, and so. Uh, I'm gonna be preparing my first shipment. I got an email from Amazon about how to prepare products to products that are, like to determine if products are FBA eligible, um, how to package them, how to protect the how to protect them in boxes, how to, um, how to label them, how to, write down the specific address for the the for the for the the, uh, the mail carrier um, and different companies that do provide services for shipping products on behalf of Amazon um, and whatnot and because um, my inventory I have so many different things that I'm gonna be selling that I'm not gonna be able to do it on my own and so I, that's why I'm partnering with Amazon with an Amazon warehouse in Rialto, California, with employees, I'm partnering with them so that they, I, I, I'm, I'm putting my trust to those employees to be handling my inventory from Mitch's Colorful Shop to be the ones responsible for the final uh, labeling, uh, packaging, and shipping out of my products from Mitch's Colorful Shop to the customers that choose to buy them from my webs from my Amazon seller account, Mitch's Colorful Shop, um, on that that is listed on Amazon, and so um, I'm, that's one of that's that is going to be one of the next things I'm working on. I am working on that. Um, I am doing my inventory. I am looking into specific prices. I can choose certain things I can choose. It requires accurate information, like for example, like the specific weight of a shipping box, the specific products in a shipping box, the specific quantity of specific products in a shipping box. Uh, they need to be packaged in a certain way. They need to meet certain standards in order to be accepted by the where Amazon warehouse. And so that's the next thing that I'm working on. For my business. All right, and so, uh, so uh, I'm going to be showing you a few things that material business materials I am using for preparing for my first shipment to an Amazon warehouse in Rialto, California, and they are going to be the ones responsible for the. Uh, they're gonna be the ones responsible for what I just said. They're gonna be, when someone does choose to buy those products on the Amazon website, on my on my seller account, when they sell, I won't be 
I will not be the one that is going to be doing the, uh, like I just said, I'm not going to be the one that's going to be doing the packaging, labeling, shipping, and customer service because I can't do everything on my own. So uh, I'm going to make this, so I'm going to be continuing to be doing what I'm doing. I let go of what is all in the past. And so moving on here now is I'm going to be showing you the actual materials that I am going to be using for my first shipment to the Amazon warehouse in Rialto, California. All right, so what I have here is this is a bag that I, that I have my products in. Um, I'm going to show you here. This is my business plan right here, Mitch's Colorful Shop business plan for 2019. I have my important information in here. This is confidential. This is for me only. This is my business plan. Um, this is a profitable, this is going to be a highly, my plan is for it to be a highly profitable business. So I'm not gonna waste time. That's for me alone. It's got some important information in there. Important passwords, important documents, receipts and whatnot. All right, so that there it is. There's my pin. I'm gonna be using that for Oh, I'm gonna have to wait a sec. Hold on a sec. Turn the light back on. Okay. All right. So lights back on. All right. So that's my business plan. It's in there. All right. These are in here. I'll show you. Um, this is the material I will be using to package my first ship shipment to the Amazon fulfillment warehouse. This is the packaging right here. This will be used. I will be using this. Um, all right. This is a deck box. Uh, this is a box that is made out of plastic, and I will be wrapping it. I will be wrapping the products in this box. Here, I'll show you. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna show you. So there's this one right here. This is gonna contain my first shipment. I have another one in here. This is another deck box. These hold up to 75 uh, cards. See that, 75, okay? These will be used to package. I'm gonna be packaging my first shipment in that and then moving on. Um, here are actual, these are shipping labels. I will be using these to label after I open these up and put my products in here and after I inventory them, um, I will be applying shipping labels to ship them out. This is what these are, that's what specifically what this is for. Okay, and all right, and this right here. This is, this is a, this right here is a Mega Mewtwo Elite Trainer Box from the XY Breakthrough series of the Pokemon trading card game. Um, these are copyrighted products. I'm not, I, even though I physically possess this, it's a copyrighted product. So um, it requires that I do certain things before I can sell the individual card products on the inside of this here. Um, so let's see here. I'll, I'll read this out real quick. I only have so much time and I gotta be efficient with how I use it because Several reasons. All right, so this is a Pokemon trading card game XY Breakthrough Elite Trainer Box. All right, so I'll read this real quick. Parallel worlds, two paths to power. Discover a new path to power that builds on a Pokemon's existing strengths and creates all new battling options. One world, I thought this part's really interesting to me. One world of technology, one world one world of nature and all the wonders of these twin worlds are yours to explore in the Pokemon TCG that TCG stands for trading card game XY breakthrough expansion that identifies the specific series that this that the, all the cards in here belong to the XY breakthrough series uh, each series is also called an expansion. These are images of booster packs. That's eight booster packs from the XY Breakthrough series. That's an image of the box that this is from. That's an image of the player's guide. That's an image of 
an acrylic coin. That's an image of six dice. These are images of energy cards. Um, so in this box, it has it, it has eight Pokemon TCG XY Breakthrough Booster Packs. Those are the card. That's what these are right here. These are the there's ten cards per pack. There's eight packs. Therefore, there's eight times ten equals eighty. There's eighty cards that will be in here. The energy cards are packaged separately. Um, okay, so there's also yeah forty five. So there's there's gonna, there's sixty five card sleeves featuring Mega Mewtwo Y. That's an image of Mega Mewtwo Y right there. Six damage counter dice. That's what these are right here. These are damage counter dice. All right, there is uh, one competition legal coin flip die. There's one of those in here. There's two acrylic condition markers. That's what these are. These are condition markers made out of acrylic material. There's a collector box to hold everything with four, divi four dividers to keep it organized. That's what these are right here. These are dividers. You'll see them on the inside of here. There's a code card for the Pokemon trading card game online. There's one card for this specific box, and each booster pack has one specific code card for the online Pokemon trading card game in each pack. So there's there's going to be there's eight booster packs. So there's going to be a total of eight code cards, and there's one code card for the whole box. All right, so. I'm gonna be opening this up right now. These will be, these are gonna be some of the products that I am gonna be listing on Mitch's Colorful Shop. Um, so I'll show you right now what is on the inside. I don't know what's what's gonna be in here, and I'm gonna be opening it up right now. You get to see what is in here exactly. I just read everything that's in here, and I'm gonna open it up and see. Um, the booster packs, have cards that are randomized so all right I'm gonna be opening this up just using my thumb here ripping off the plastic material okay so once I open it there's no unopening it there's no it's no longer eligible to be returned now that I broke the seal all right All right, so the plastic material is now gone. All right, this is now trash. There's my trash that's gone. It's gonna be thrown out. All right, now got a mint. All right, now here it is for the first time ever. Opening it up, a XY breakthrough Mega Mewtwo Elite Trainer Box. Here it is. Here is the player's guide. All right, it's one XY Breakthrough Mega Mewtwo Player's Guide. All right, so this has got all sorts of information in here. Uh, I'm not gonna be going over this in this video. I'm gonna set this aside. I'm gonna set that right there, all right. I'm just gonna get right to opening up the cards. All right, so I'm gonna push this aside right here. If I had unlimited resources, if I had unlimited time, unlimited storage space on my phone, I'd be able to do more, but I'm working with limited resources, so that's why I'm getting straight to the point on this. All right, so open it up. All right, there we go. Here is the box. Th there is some beautiful artwork on the inside here. I'm gonna set this right here. All right. This is a material that can be used for several things. I'm gonna keep that right here. Okay, and here it is. The Mega Mewtwo Y Elite Trainer Box. The original manufacturer, all credit goes to Pokemon. They are the original manufacturer of these products. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna set this right here. I'm gonna keep that. All right, so let's see what we have here. All right, so this, th these are the six 
damage counter dice. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. And here's another dice right here. I'm gonna put these right here. Okay. Right here. These are the 45 energy cards that come in this set. The 45 energy cards right here. I'm gonna set this right here. I'm gonna keep those. Okay. Here are the four dividers. One, two, three, one, two, three. And let's see. Oh, right there, four. Exactly four. One, two, three, four. Exactly like on the box. Accurate. All right, I'm putting that right there. Okay. This is the code card for the entire box. The XY Elite Trainer Mewtwo Y code card. There's only one of these in the world. Uh, this is a card act for the specific to the Pokemon trading card game, specific to this box. There's only one of these. I'm not going to activate it because I'm not going to play the online game. Um, so my plan is to sell this. I'm going to set this right here. I may or may not. I can decide. I can choose to or not choose to. Um, but for now, I'm going to be opening up. Let's see. So this is supposed to come with eight booster packs. So let's count and see if that's accurate. One, two, three, four, five. Oops, all right, so it's four. All right, so five, six, seven, eight. All right, that's accurate. There's eight booster packs. These are eight booster packs from the XY series. Right here, these are the two acrylic condition coins. These are used to be placed on cards during a card game. It marks the status of either poisoned or burned. That stands for, this stands for poisoned. This stands for burned. I'm going to set that right here. Okay, so that's all. So, and here's the, here's what's left of the box. Here is, here are the eight XY series booster packs. That's one right there. That's two right there. That's three right there. That's four right there. That's five. That's six. That's seven. That's eight. All right. Now, I'm gonna face these, I'm gonna open up each one individually. Facing them all the same way. All right, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Flip this. All right, now they're all facing the same way. That's eight right there. I'm gonna end this video, and then the next one, I'm gonna be opening these up one by one. All right, take care, peace.